Hi all, uh, this is Ram. I welcome you all to the AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate course. Uh, the course is completely designed for beginners. Uh, it is for everyone who is interested to learn cloud computing with AWS. So you can see the agenda on the screen. Uh, yeah, so this is the primary agenda uh, and it's going to spread across many, you know, uh, videos uh, basically. Yeah, so it is uh, we will start with introduction to cloud computing and AWS, uh, then AWS EC2, AWS S3, AWS IAM, databases, VPC, that is a virtual private cloud, load balancing, auto scaling, and a lot of other applications and services as well. So, you know, yeah. So let's start off with the, uh, you know, first uh, module that is the introduction to cloud computing, Amazon Web Services. So what is cloud computing? on-demand delivery of so compute power, database storage, applications, and other IT services. So through a cloud services platform via the internet with pay-as-you-go pricing. How does it work? A simple way to access servers, storage, database, and a broad set of application services over the internet. So it's primarily, it works you know, over the internet. Benefits of cloud computing. So agility. Uh, you know, uh, one of the biggest benefits of cloud computing is, uh, you know, agility, that is speed, increase experimentation, innovation. So you'll be able to, you know, uh, experiment, you know, very fast, you know, with respect to, you know, whatever, you know, you want to achieve, you know, as part of your, the, the, the ID project, you know, that you're working on. Uh, yeah. So it's the time to market is very less. Elasticity. So you, you don't have to over provision your resources, you know, that is the best part. So you, you consume only, I mean, you pay only for what the resources that you actually use. So you can actually increase or, increase or decrease capacity in minutes, not even, you know, hours or weeks. And, uh, you know, the cost savings. So you'll also get, you know, significant cost savings because, you know, you don't have to spend money on data centers and physical servers. So, so primarily you're only paying for the variable expenses. So you pay for the, you know, IT as you consume it. You pay for it as you consume it. And next is deployed globally in minutes. So AWS is spread across many regions around the world. So so you should be able to easily deploy, you know, uh, within minutes once you have the, you know, respective. So these are some of the benefits of cloud computing, agility, elasticity, cost savings, and deployed globally in minutes. Cloud deployment models. So public, so we have, you know, public cloud uh, like uh, AWS, Azure, Oracle Cloud. So, and I also have on-premises and we also have uh, hybrid. Hybrid is nothing but it's a combination of public and, you know, on-premises. So somebody, so these are some of the things we have seen right now. So, uh, you know, what is cloud computing? How does it work? Agility, benefits and the cloud deployment models. Now let's move on to the next, uh, you know, uh, slide. Introduction to Amazon Web Services. So what is Amazon Web Services? It's a secure cloud services platform offering compute, power, storage, databases, content delivery, and other functionality. Build applications with increased scalability and reliability. It's a broad inf IT infrastructure platform. So you have uh, you know uh, services like computing, storage, networking, databases, delivered as utility on demand available in seconds you so you just sign up for the account and you know you can start accessing the services immediately it's a pay as you go pricing so we will discuss on the pricing front you know in the coming slides uh, aws global infrastructure yeah so AWS Global Infrastructure, we have about 22 regions, you know, as of now, uh, you know, and uh, 16 in availability zones and also edge locations. So so basically, you know, how it is, you know, uh, you, you first have a region and within a region you have, you know, one or more availability zones. So an availability zone is like, you know, uh, basically a data center. It could be a data center or a combination of data centers. So, so within region you have availability zones within, I mean, an availability zone is like a data center again. So, so that is the basic, you know, global infrastructure of, uh, you know, AWS. So we can actually see it in the website here, global infrastructure. So we can see uh, we have about 22 launcher regions and four more announced regions, 69 availability zones as of now, 
and it is also serving about 245 countries until it is served okay so this is the graph uh, aws global infrastructure map so let's go to the next slide aws global infrastructure map so this map is basically you know it's not a latest one uh, but yeah it should help you basically understand you know how many uh, yeah so so what you're seeing here uh, this particular one it is the you know uh, the region and number of availability zone for example let's say you know in us east you have uh, i mean in the north virginia region you have six availability zones in ohio region you have three availability zones so it's so it's like that and uh, this is where basically the new regions are coming up so this particular slide is a little older slide so the newer ones could be slightly different and the different certifications of aws so aws you have many certifications you know you can follow but i mean different paths you can follow the architect path you can follow the operations or the developer you know you can, you can even go for the specialty exams so it's uh, you know different certifications you can have uh, you know let's go on to the aws website to learn more about this so yeah so this is the link for the aws education website so you can even schedule an exam from here you can prepare for an exam from uh, you know uh, here so if you scroll down you know you can see the available certifications so you have the foundation level you have the associate level you have the professional level so professional level we have uh, certified solution architect professional uh, devops engineer professional so and these are the specialty exams and uh, currently what we are doing is this particular one aws certified solution architect associate <coughs> sorry so this particular course and uh, so you you have a lot of content about this you know uh, particularly you can follow the learning paths if you would like to so we are currently looking at the architect path so which is this particular course and let's look at uh, Yeah, so this is the course that we are currently doing, uh, AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate course. So, yeah, I'll just, yeah, and this is the blueprint of the exam. So, you know, uh, the certification course that we are, you know, talking about exam preparation, I mean, you know, recommended AWS knowledge, uh, it's only a recommended, so it's not a mandatory thing. And, uh, you know, exam preparation, what all can be done. Uh, you know, and the response types, you know, you have multiple choices, multiple response, you know, uh, questions. And these are the some of the domains that we covered. Uh, so we will discuss about the, you know, the question paper, you know, the architecture as well. And uh, so here, if you see, uh, you know, we have AWS white papers. So, and here we have this AWS well architectured uh, web page. So if I click this page, you know, it will get opened, uh, you know, this particular page, AWS Well Architect Architecture, you know, uh, framework page. So here you can actually see the AWS Well Architecture framework, you know, white paper here. And <clears throat> these are all the pillars of the, you know, framework, uh, AWS, you know, Well Architected Framework, uh, Operational Excellence, Security, Reliability, Performance, and the Cost. So, so basically, if I open this particular framework, you know, this is the white paper. So this is the white paper for the AWS well architected framework. So in this we have uh, in page number five we can see you know these are the pillars of the AWS framework. So for each pillar you know there is a separate white paper. Uh, <clears throat> so I mean as part of the exam uh, it would be a you know excellent idea to read you know it is greatly highly recommended you know to read all of these white papers. So that will help you you know pass the exam you know uh, yeah. So. Let's go back. Uh, yeah, so these are certifications. Uh, and one thing I just missed out. Uh, yeah, and this is also the sample paper, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, how does it actually look, you know? Uh, <clears throat> so you have multiple choice here and, you know, this is just a sample paper of, you know, uh, 10 questions, you know. Yeah, but in the actual AWS exam, we will have uh, uh, you know about 130 minutes to complete the exam and it's about uh, 150 dollars <throat> and this is the associate course that we are talking about right so so basically you know for giving the exam you actually have to go to the test center uh, you know there you need to actually give so you can schedule the exam first and then you know go for it so so you know the preparation for the exam basically you know 
all the services that we are going to learn in this particular course you know you need to <clears throat> have you know working knowledge you know hands on experience uh, you know of the particular uh, you know modules one and number two you need to read the white papers and also the faqs so i'll discuss more about this you know maybe <clears throat> uh, at later uh, time uh, but as of now uh, yeah so this is the basic info i wanted to you know give you all So next slide, uh, yeah. So Amazon products and services. We have a lot of products and services for Amazon. So let's, uh, <clears throat> you know, let me actually take you guys to the uh, AWS, uh, you know, management console. So this is where we can see all the uh, services, uh, you know. So <clears throat> I mean, I'll tell you how to log into this, uh, you know, management console. Uh, everything a little later. At this time, just trying to show you all the services. So this is basically the primary, you know, uh, you know, management console view. So here, if you click on services, you can see here under compute, we have all of these services: EC2, Light Cell, ECR, ECS, EKS, storage. We have S3, database. We have RDS, DynamoDB, Elastic, HA, management and governance. We have a lot of other things like CloudTrail, you know, CloudWatch, IAM. We have here under security, identity and complaints. So we have, you know, a uh, lot of, and this is like networking. We have VPC here, you know, and uh, yeah. So these are all some of the services. So definitely we are not going to cover everything. Uh, we are going to cover like, you know, a couple of, you know, uh, modules, you know, as part of the uh, certified solution architect associate course. So this is the uh, management console and uh, let's go to the next slide. Yeah, and then we have the AWS, you know, free tier. So, yeah, so what we'll do is, you know, we will end this particular session right now. And, uh, you know, we will start looking at the free tier part from the next uh, session. Thank you.